Hello everyone, welcome to the Spring of the Lights. And on today I'll be showing you how to air fry liver and onions with the red potato mash and fried cabbage with homemade yeast rolls. So let's get started. And here is my liver and this is calf liver. Um, you can use beef liver if you choose to, but you just want to season it a little bit with salt and pepper. And I use some nature seasoning. And I also seasoned my flour, so I just took my liver and put it into the flour and just lightly dusted it on, shaking off the excess and placing it into my air fryer. And I used a perforated um, paper in the air fryer and that was because I didn't want it to stick to the air fryer, not saying that it would. But sometimes for easy cleanup, it's just easier to use those. So I will put a link in the description for you guys if you're interested. So we put them into the air fryer. And of course, you have to spray them. Um, you want to spray enough oil to where it is pretty much making the flour disappear. Because um, you don't want flaky um, flour all over your meat. So just make sure you cover it enough. Use whatever oil you choose to. And here I'm just slicing up an onion that I will be putting into the air fryer once I flip the liver. And you can put as much or as little onions as you want. If you don't want onions, you don't have to use them, but um, this is what I grew up on, so. And you just want to break them apart. It makes it easier for them to cook evenly um, when you put them into the air fryer. So now I'm flipping the liver over. And see how nice and brown that it is getting. And now we're going to toss those onions in with the liver in the air fryer. Now it doesn't take a lot for onions um, in the air fryer. Um, a lot of people cook them and they say they burn. It does not take a lot of time because of the heat um, that's circulating through. So we want to spray the liver on the opposite side to also make that flour disappear on that side. I sprayed a little bit on the onions. And we're going to put them back in the air fryer. And now we're going to kick it to 400 for 10 minutes. And here you guys have it. Here's your liver and onions. This is one of the easiest dishes that I've did. Um, I love liver. I'm the only one in my house that eats it, so I don't cook it often. Um, but since I have been fixing it in the air fryer, it is so much better this way versus me um, frying it in a bunch of oil. Um, so you guys definitely have to try this if you like liver. There you have it. Liver and onions. And here I have a bag of red Idaho potatoes. The microwave bag. I'm going to show you how to do something really quick with something that is extremely inexpensive. Now once you put those in the microwave for 10 minutes in the steam bag, I'm going to smash them. And you don't necessarily have to do this. I mean, it's just something quick that... Um, that's easy to do. I mean, I'm using stuff that's already prepared. Basically, I'm just putting my own twist to it. So after I smash those, I threw in some butter. And I'm going to put in a half a block of cream cheese. And then we're just going to smash that together. Now you want to do this while the potatoes are hot. Um, just so the cream cheese and the butter will um, cream together. Now this next step that I'm going to do it's something you don't have to do. It's just something I like to do to make my potatoes stretch. I used a bag of the instant Idaho potatoes. And 
it's totally optional if you want to do this you can leave it out and then you just want to add milk to it you can use heavy cream um, to the potatoes or even evaporated milk but I just used whole milk because what I had on hand and you just want to mix it to whatever consistency that you like a lot of people like thick potatoes um, I'm not so much a thick potato person but I do like chunks in my potatoes that's what made this difference that it had red potatoes with skin and it was still a little chunky so now I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder and I probably use maybe a half a teaspoon some salt to taste and some pepper to taste and then I'm, of course I'm going to add some parsley flakes and you're just going to mix that together now what I'm going to do is once I've got this mixed to a certain degree I'm going to transfer this to a pot um, to put some heat to it and if you need to add more milk do so and here you guys have it air fried liver and onions with a brown gravy fried cabbage red potatoes mashed and homemade yeast rolls and as always thanks for stopping by please like share and subscribe and also check out my facebook page with sprinkles delights until next time